Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My students, you are welcome back to CTY e-learning program. This is uh, Mr. Ishabi Olawale, your teacher on financial accounting for the senior secondary school one. Uh, this is the first period of the fourth week of this third term in this academic session. And uh, as we all know that we are still discussing final accounts. And the area we are discussing currently is the balance sheets, which is known as the statement of financial position. Having discussed all the items that can be found in the balance sheet in the, during the last uh, class, where we majorly discussed the capital, the drawings, the liabilities, as well as the uh, both the fixed and current assets. Today we want to look at how to prepare a balance sheet. We are looking at how to prepare a balance sheet. So let's have an illustration. From the following, prepare the balance sheet of Abu Bakri. A sole trader as of 31st December 2018. We have denomination as Naira. Stock 31st December 2018, 1,500 Naira. Capita, 110,020 Naira. Net profit, 7,000 Naira. Debtors, 7,000 Naira. Motor van, 70,000 Naira. Drawings, 6,310 Naira. Premises, 4,100 Naira. Cash at bank, 800 Naira. Loans, 30,000. Furniture and fittings, 1,400 Naira. Bank overdraft, 2,790 Naira. Cash in hand, 50,000 Naira. Land and building, 25,500 Naira. Creditors, 17,000 Naira. Naira. Having look at the question now, from the question, let's prepare a balance sheet. Let's prepare a balance a balance sheet. As we all know, we usually use the two formats, both the uh, vertical format and the conventional format, popularly known as the T format. So to start with, we are going to be using T method, the T format now. Now, Abu Bakri Enterprises, that's the name of the business. Balance sheet as of 31st December 2018. Then we have our denomination, Naira, Naira. To start with, let's, uh, let's look at the right hand side where we have our assets. And the first item there will be the fixed assets, under which we have the motor van. The motor van of 70,000 Naira. We have the land and building, 25,500 Naira. Premises, 4,100 Naira. And the furniture and fitting of uh, 1,400 Naira. So the total amount for all our fixed assets was 101,000 Naira. 101,000 Naira. From there, we move to the current assets of the business. We move to the current assets of the business, where we have cash in hand of 50,200 Naira, bill receivable of 800 Naira, debt of 7,000 Naira, and stock of 1,500 Naira totaling 59,500 Naira. So we have to add the total of the current asset to that of the uh, fixed asset. Then we have on the right side, we have the total of uh, 160,500 Naira. From there, we move to the left-hand side of the balance sheet, where we are going to be looking at the 
capital. So we have capital of 110,020 Naira. Added to it is the net profit that uh, we have in the question. So you had the net profit to the capital. We have 117,020 Naira. From there, we list our drawings. We list drawings from the total of 117,020 Naira. So we list the drawing of 6,310 Naira. Then we arrive at the 110,710 Naira. 110,710 Naira. From there, we have to look at the current liabilities that we have in our items that we have in the question. We have current liabilities such as the creditors of 17,000 Naira, loans 30,000 Naira, and overdraft of a 2,790 Naira. Since the bank was an overdraft, then we have the bank overdraft of 2,790 Naira. So added to the loans and the creditors, we arrive at the figure of 49,790 49, Naira as the total of our current liabilities. So adding the current liabilities to our to our capital employed which was uh, 110,710 Naira. We arrive at a uh, total of uh, 160,500 Naira. As we all know that this is a balance sheet. The total on the right hand side must be equal to the total on the left hand side. And as clearly shown, we have the total of uh, 160,500 on both sides. So that is how to illustration on how to prepare uh, a balance sheet using a T method or T format. Also, we can still solve the same question using the particle format. We can still solve the same question using the particle format. So let's look at how to solve the question using the particle format. Abu Bakri Enterprises. Balance sheet as a 31st December 2018. Balance sheet as a 31st December 2018. We have the fixed assets. We have the fixed assets. So we are going to start with the fixed assets. And the, our fixed assets start with the land and building 25,500 naira. To be added to it, we have the premises of a 4,000. 100 naira then we had uh, the motor van which was valued at 70,000 naira then furniture and fittings which was valued at uh, 1,400 naira so the total of our fixed assets was uh, 101,100 naira the total of fixed assets was 101,000 100 naira from there we have to add our the value of our current asset then the items on our current asset include the stock which was valued at 1500 naira debtors which was valued at 7000 naira bill receivable 800 naira and the cash in hand of uh, 50200 naira totaling 59000 500 naira 59,500 naira that's our current total of current assets from the current assets less your current liability less your current liabilities and what is the what is the total of our current liability the items in our current liabilities are creditors we have 17,000 was valued at 17,000 naira loans was 30,000 naira while the bank overdraft was a uh, 2,790 Naira. So the total of the current liabilities was 49,790 Naira, which was to be deducted from our current assets. Which was to be deducted from our current assets. Therefore, we have to deduct 49,790 Naira from 59,500 Naira. And we realized a fig the figure of uh, 
9,710 Naira. 9,710 Naira. This 9,710 Naira is what is known as the working capital. It was is known as the working capital. That is, by deducting the value of the current total of the current liabilities from current asset, the excess is what we refer to as the working capital, which is in this case we have 9,710 naira. So this working capital is now to be added to the uh, total of our fixed asset is now to be added to our to the total of our fixed asset which was 101,100 naira so by adding 101,000 to 9,710 naira we have the total of uh, 110,710 naira the total of uh, 110,710 naira from there we have to look at how the the amount of 110,710 naira was financed. So it was financed by financed by capital. It was financed by capital 110,020 naira had net profit of 7,000 naira which gave us 117,020 naira. 117,020 naira. Then we have to deduct our drawing 6,310 naira. So let's draw in of 6,310 naira from 117,020 naira. Then we arrive at the uh, capital employed of uh, 110,710 naira. So by comparing the figure at the top with, uh, with the capital employed that we arrive at from financed by, we have the same amount, which, uh, which is uh, 110,710 naira on both uh, sides. That's how to prepare a balance sheet of a sole trader um, using both the T or conventional method and the fatigue method. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.